approach to a drug dealer's boat, identifiable by the number of bimbos per square foot of teak deck. But watch out, most of the hair gel belongs to the villain. How the government expects anyone to lead a decent life and still keep paying taxes is beyond me. That's because they expect you to make it legally. For now. That's so you can take deductions without having to worry about going to jail over an audit. Mm, and here I was thinking Coast Guard was spanking you and uh, took away your little toys. <laughs> they can't catch what they can't see, pal. Newton Blade, Ricardo Cooper. Pleasure. Not yet. Go sharpen your pencils and take your spreadsheets with you. Hi, I'm Honey. Sweet. <laughs> we all know what Don Johnson has done since and who with. But what about his sidekick, Philip Michael Thomas, the one who wore socks? The answer is, he's flourishing. He's exploited his spiritual capacities to build up a business in astrology, mental vibrations, and crystals down the trousers. Yes, no longer a sidekick, he is now a psychic. Complete with stomach-churning optical effects and a highly trained studio audience, here comes the Philip Michael Thomas Psychic Connection. Ladies and gentlemen, television, motion picture, and recording star, Philip Michael Thomas. Hey. All right, all right, all right. Hey, I love it, I love it, I love it. Hello, I'm Philip Michael Thomas, and I have something very special for you. Are you curious? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, every day, opportunities for love, money, and happiness pass us by. Doors open and close, and we don't even know why. Have I got your attention? Yeah. Yes. Are you ready to do something for yourself? Yes. yes. Good, because what I'm about to give you is totally revolutionary, and it's my gift to you, the Philip Michael Thomas Psychic Connection. <laughs> this is like any other psychic line. Let me tell you, the connection is much more than just a psychic telephone line. My psychics are the best in the world, and to prove it, I want you to have your own sample psychic reading right now and see for yourself. Free sample reading? Oh, man. She really knew about me. I really like the free sample reading because I was able to use a psychic without any obligation. And I'm glad I did. You get a free sample reading every time you call. I want you to call the Philip Michael Thomas Psychic Connection right now. Remember, it's a free sample reading. Talk with one of our psychics and see for yourself how amazingly rich your life can be. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Surely, Philip Michael Thomas is evidence that there really is such a thing as the supernatural. Hasn't he proved that life is possible after the death of a primetime television series? Let's find out as we go by satellite to Miami and say, can you hear me, Philip Michael Thomas? Uh, yes, Clive James, I hear you loud and clear. Philip, we've just been watching a scene from Miami Vice, and it was a reminder of just what a huge hit that show was. Uh, absolutely. Uh, it was one of those kind of television shows that ushered the golden age of television into the platinum age. Uh, I think that we had uh, the timing was incredible, the technology was fantastic, the talent was fantastic, and it just catapulted television into another dimension. And what was the key to your character, Tubbs? Well, the key to my character? I don't know. There were several keys, but I think the one key was the name Tubbs, T-U-B-B-S. He was tough, unique, bad, bodacious, and sassy. You must miss it. What do you miss most? Well, Clive, you know, I really miss saying, freeze, Miami Vice. Well, what are, what are the hallmarks, Clive? One of the hallmarks of the show was violence. Uh, there was a lot of it in amongst the designer suits. And on average, how many bad guys did you waste every show? You know, I, I really couldn't tell you on an average, but the violence wasn't the thing that's most important about Vice. The most important thing about Vice was all the other ingredients that made it happen. Magic, mystery, history, with a little Miss Story in between. <laughs> uh, Tubbs even made it to the White House, didn't he? Absolutely. That was an incredible experience, actually. Uh, we flew in on private jets uh, for a, a very special dinner that, that they had. Uh, there were 160 people that were invited, and I got a chance to sit across the table from uh, Ronald Reagan. It was an incredible experience. He has quite a sense of humor. Yeah? And we were sitting there, and he was cracking jokes, etc. And I said, you know something, Mr. President? 
You're the president of the United States of America, and I'm president of the United States of my own mind. Everybody <laughs> chuckled, and he said, Philip Michael Thomas is one of America's best. Nancy was, uh, was fairly closely connected with psychics, wasn't she? Did you talk to her about psychics? Well, well you know, I have a psychic connection with her now. May, she might even be calling my psychic connection line. <laughs> what, what is Philip Michael Thomas's psychic connection? <laughs> Okay, well, you have to do it. What it is, if, if you have any problems that you'd like answered and you can't get them answered by your spouse or your friend, your mother, whoever, you can call and get somebody to talk to you who is sensitive to talk about your love life, your private affairs, your business or whatever. I, I read that you sleep under a pyramid. It sounds kind of uncomfortable. What's it all about? Well, I used to sleep under a pyramid. Uh, when I was first building my theater, the Miami Way Theater, I owned a house in the Grove, and I had a, a pyramid that I slept under, under ni every night. And I used to write down the dreams that I would have, and then I began to design the theater from that. So you, you feel it uh, psychically attuned to Egypt? If, if reincarnation is true in some of the dreams that I've had, yeah, absolutely. Or what, what were you? What kind of Egyptian were you? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know who it is. Maybe Ramses or somebody. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you were a pharaoh, right? Don't you remember? You were there. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was a waiter in the restaurant outside the pyramid. I love your accent, Clive. <laughs> I'm having fun with you, you know that. Not a bad imitation. It won't get you into Australia, but it'll get you a ride in a London cab any time. <laughs> All right. That's right, you are from Australia. Listen, when, when I go to Australia, can I mention your name? Absolutely. It won't help, but mention it. <laughs> Well, Philip, I'm going to put my psychic in touch with your psychic. We'll see if we can arrange it. <laughs> okay, I'd love that. Thank you very much, <laughs> Philip Michael Thomas. All right. Please and please.